Well, folks, 1.20 has hit the server as of a few hours ago when I was asleep. Everybody, everybody is exploring right now. So I have a couple of things that I want to go look for. There they are! I knew we'd find some around here. I knew it. So this is right near. <laughs> and we get the biome achievement again. So this is right by my mountains. Um, they cut, uh, the owner of the server cut a bunch of chunks that had been like 5 million chunks that had been loaded for like two minutes. And I, a lot of the area around my mountains, th like there wasn't a lot explored to begin with. And a lot of it got cut. And here we are. We have cherry, a cherry grove so close to home. Now, if you've hung around here at all, you know that I like to preserve the beauty of the natural biome generation. So, we'll only take a little bit, just enough to get some saplings and some of the pink petals. All right. Ah, I love it. You know what? You know what? We need to dye this box pink only appropriate so with this lovely place found oh my goodness i am so so happy to have found it so fast i'm so glad my instincts were correct now we've got some more things to look for and well i forgot i forgot a brush so i'm gonna have to go grab the things to make that real quick <laughs> Now, in my single-player world, uh, we explored with a bamboo boat. In this world, we're gonna explore in a cherry blossom boat. That was the wrong way. Now, while I was clearing out, uh, this area of kelp, I discovered that not only do we have the Guardian Ocean Monument thing over there, um, where we've already killed the Elder Guardians, but we've also got another one right over this little hill in the ocean. Okay, there it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and drink our potions here. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. And this one. All righty, let's see if we can't break in here. Nope, already got mining fatigue. How did we already get mining fatigue? There's one. All right, I am absolutely terrible at navigating the ocean monuments but let's see if if one of these guys drops the armor come on can you die already sir okay not that one cool, cool how the heck are they targeting me oh how how did my okay okay we need to get out of here uh we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I forgot to lengthen my invisibility potion, that's a problem. There's so many puffed up puffer fish. What's with that? There's so many, there, how many, oh my gosh, okay. Gonna just avoid them a little bit. There's another. They're all puffed up. Oh, goodness. That's a pillager tower. Okay. Well, we might as well nip in and grab the trim from that, I suppose. Her. They said, oh gosh, he sees me. He sees me. That's not good. Okay, but he's, he's off. He's gone. All right. If he sees me, I'm just going to put on my armor anyways. There's a goat horn. I don't really need that. No armor trims. What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Does it have suspicious? It does have suspicious stand. Oh gosh. <gasps> we got a bowl of suspicious stew. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. There's a desert temple and a pillager tower, and you know what? I realize... I don't know, but maybe pillager towers have more than one chest. Okay, we're going to take our water bucket 
and go like that and go down nice okay chests saddle gunpowder things i don't need iron horse armor knock back one ah well this was a sad thing might as well take the tnt it might be a bad idea with my lag and all but i feel like i need to like fight these guys and just check the rest of the pillager tower because i haven't been anywhere other than that top piece of the pillager tower like ever nothing nothing and this is the chest we already found oh goodness there should be more than that okay i've been doing a little bit of research and also chatting with people and i both know what trims i want for my own armor and i'm also going to go ahead and build the temporary location uh for a uh, uh amy's asking me if oh i have so many things to do i'm also going to build a temporary location for our armor trim library in the interior of the end palace okay we are on our way to go right in ancient city again uh that wasn't my plan for today i was planning to wait until a little bit later but amy's going into one right now and might as well right <laughs> I don't know, like, where to look for chests. Like, I don't have the knowledge of, like, oh, yeah, this specific area is, like, is it just anywhere within any structure there could be a chest, or are there specific there's, places they tend to spawn? There, there are specific spaces, yeah, but there's a lot of them, so basically just look around everywhere and you'll find them. Fair enough. Ah, there's one. I said another one. Oh, God! I hear him. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, let me check where he's at and where you're at. I, I flew, oh, yes. I flew away in the same okay, direction stay you stay. did. Okay, stay, stay. This is going to be number six and seven. Gosh. There, there better be something in here. I put I put myself in a box. I haven't opened the chest yet. I don't know if he can hear that. You know, we have managed to not die, so I'm gonna call that a plus. <laughs> <laughs> don't jinx it, D. Don't think, don't jinx it. Yeah, sorry. Oops. Yep, there's one right on top of you now. Dig out and fly away. If I hold so still. still in there? Yeah, I'm still in here. Oh, you're gonna be trapped out for like minutes. Yeah. How terrified are you right now on a scale from one to ten? Oh, oh god. Oh god. Dig out, dig out, dig out. I'm dig trying, out. I'm go, trying, go, I can't, go, I can't, go, go, go. I can't see. Oh. I can't see, okay. I'll take the aggro, I'll take the aggro. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, that's all, all right. my stuff. So your stuff's still there. That's good. There's Warden right next to it. That's not so good. <laughs> Sorry, your stuff's gone. Oh, uh, I spawned in another one. Oh no. Uh, it's actually just despawned as well. The good news is I can get my elytra back real quick because I was planning to go raid a uh, city anyways. Let's see. I am kind of feeling like I am not ready to face the other ancient city right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the finished uh library looks like this is just a temporary location because there are plans to build an outpost for 1.20 there's not going to be a whole like new spawn and shopping area or anything but they're gonna do an outpost and have a library out there and all that good stuff um but for now this is where armor trims are set up we have you know the things for actually duping and adding them to armor and all that we have 
all of the the trims themselves in boxes along the wall and when you open them up they have materials inside them to dupe with okay so the way we duplicate armor templates i believe is like so there we go okay <laughs> let's see wayfinder we're just gonna zoop there to wayfinder two of the shaper ones and two dune ones awesome so now we can give those let's see wayfinder we can give the originals back to Elier, and we're all good due to the unfortunate mishap in the ancient city uh i do need to up update a little bit of my tools and stuff before we head out uh, looking for more, looking for more thingamabobs, but I have lots of books. And a place to get lots of levels. Now we're all enchanted up with the things that we need for now. Our sword is fully enchanted, our pickaxe is fully enchanted, and actually most of my armor is fully enchanted too. Uh, my boots and helmet already had some enchantments on them, and I figured might as well put the aqua affinity on the helmet. There was already respiration, but like I'm gonna be going out needing that soon, anyways. So, um, we are going to head south from here since we're in the end, anyways. We might as well go looking for the specific armor trim. Ah, here's oh my gosh, this thing is huge. All right, where's the boat? The boat, the boat, the boat. I swear, if there's not a boat, what the heck? Ah, here's another city. Please tell me this one has a boat. Yes, yes, it does. Thank ever-loving goodness. Okay, buddy. All righty. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, hello. I yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, there's some extra wings, perfect to replace the ones that we lost. All right, let's pop down into this place and let's see. Nothing. Still nothing. Guys, I stopped my camera for like my recording for like 10 minutes tops. And then, and then I found the giant city that's right over there and it had been raided and everything already like the elytra was gone from that one but i didn't have time to turn on the recording while i was in the room because it was one of those rooms that's at the top of like the whole hallway thing and is just chock full of shulkers actually just for safety's sake we're gonna go ahead and stick it right there in our ender chest that is one of three armor trims that I want for my own armor set. Um, and the other two are also not found. So, our grind does not end here. Now, in a little explored strip way north of Derek is two ocean monuments pretty close to each other. So we're going to head out that direction. Because I might as well start at the ones that I can see, right? Now, these armor trims have a 20% chance of dropping, which is pretty decent, all things considered. Okay, oh, I got it! Ooh, oh my gosh, there's a jungle temple right here! I'm not even gonna try. Ah, the wild smithing template. Guys, I am... I am actually on a roll. Ooh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, goodbye. Okay, I don't see anybody else directly in this. Ah! Ah, there he is. And I found him. So we're coming to the end of the day on Saturday, the day that, you know, we updated to 1.20. And oh, we have 
six armor trims left. Ten of them have been found and added to the library. So I think that's pretty neat. So I think at the moment, we'll go ahead and add our trim in Amethyst. At least to these three pieces. So first, we've got our netherite chest plate. There we go. And we just got the advancement. Nice. I got that. And then these are the spire. There we go. And then what I'm not entirely sure about is I found out you can use copper. And I really love how it looks, especially with the netherite. But I also really love the quartz. They're both really pretty. And I'm not sure if the copper... You know what? We're going to try the copper and see if we like it. And if we don't, we'll duplicate the trim again. And the chest plate's going to look a little bit different because it's not enchanted. But how do we like this? Oh. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. I love how the copper looks on the netherite. That's really, really pretty. Yeah, I think I think this is a good look. And without the chest plate, you know, with how I normally look, this is this is the look we've got. I love it. I do wish we could uh, customize the elytra, but you know what? It's fine. This looks good. I'm gonna go do a little bit of a project that should make our wither farm work even better. Okay, I think, I think we've accomplished it. I think we should be almost completely spawn-proofed in that crimson forest. I'm sure there's a couple of spots that I missed because, like, of course there would be. Those, those things are hard to get every nook and cranny of, let me tell ya. But let's go ahead and pop right on down in here. Oh. The lag is what has almost killed me several times, but I only popped a totem once. This sounds terrifying and also very promising. Oh my lord. Let's see. 34 in here. So that's al almost half our mob cap right there. Okay, yeah, they're flowing in here a lot faster. Well, this is delightful. I am enjoying this immensely. It's really cool because I keep going and learning more things with this farm and like there's still things that I can do to improve it and make it better that I want to do and figure out on my own. And I don't know, it's just really cool to uh, have something that like I can use now but also plan to continu continually upgrade as I learn more things. Speaking of learning new things with this farm, why don't we just go ahead and put in an item sorter system, like a nether item sorter system right now? It's a little simpler than I thought it was. Okay, that's looking more like it. Made a few uh, technical difficulties, but it looks like our item sorter is finally working. <sighs> that definitely was uh, even more of a learning experience than I thought it was going to be. All right, well, I think the next step is definitely going to be a collection system from the drop shoot because the hoppers are getting backed up. And now that we've got all of this work done, let's do some fun prettying up before the end of the episode. Are you ready to take a look at our whiskey killing chamber room storage madness? <laughs> I decided to theme it around being in a soul sand valley. Um, so we've got lots of skulk. We've got brown terracotta and mangrove roots. Um, I've got this little area. It's not set up for full enchanting, but it is set up to at least be able to use an anvil and grindstone. I love this lava wall that is coming down at the end of the storage ice stream. 
Um, and look at this little bridge that goes above it. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that the swords don't actually make it into the lava, so I might need to adjust that, but that might involve pushing that wall back, and I don't want to deal with that. Anyways, then you just come down this little staircase, and our storage is right here, and we have a good seven and a half stacks of skulls. Um, I haven't been killing them frequently while I've been working in here. You can kind of see up into the... into the, uh... intestines of the beast. And we've got so many bones. We're about to start overflowing our storage. And then lots of coal as well. Our collection system still does need some work. And I think I know uh, what I'm going to do from here. But we do have a two-dropper system to send items down into storage. And that is definitely helping. In the time that I've been working in here, I've kind of been skimming off the top of bone uh, bones and coal and making blocks and i think we may go ahead and add them to our frozen farmland store well it has been an absolutely productive episode i feel like i got so much done and i'm so excited for all the things that i'm planning to do next oh next episode i've 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 got some exciting things to do Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode or learned from my fumblings about, do please give it a like and consider subscribing. I will see you all for the next one. Bye!